if your Samsung Galaxy S25 keeps restarting, then this issue can stem from various factors like including software glitches, some problematic applications that you have downloaded, or for example, hardware malfunctions. And the first one, I can definitely start from updating your software. So you have to try and go into software update and simply be sure that you have the latest software of Android and also of One UI. If it still doesn't work, you can simply check for some faulty applications. So if you download some apps from external sources or for example, new apps with low uh, rating from Google Play Store, you can simply try to open apps, uh, then find the last downloaded apps. Mm, you can start here by selecting installed by you. There we go. And here you can find all of those apps that you have downloaded on your phone and install them and simply try to just remove them like that. If it is still not working, then you can try to boot your phone into the safe mode. And if you don't know how to do this, uh, it's actually quite simple. You have to just click right here, then click and hold power off button and tap on the save mode again to enter for this mode. And as you can see here, we can find information that downloaded apps will be temporarily disabled to help us troubleshoot our S25. So try this one. If you put your phone into the save mode and it's not, you know, uh, restarting, then it means that something is wrong with those apps that you have downloaded. Uh, the another issue, the, the, this actually could be some, you know, mm, hardware components. So for example, uh, overheating can lead to unexpected restarts. So we have to be sure that you actually cool down your device, take off, uh, you know, this protective case and let it cool down. Uh, you can also check uh, the battery health, but in the most cases, you'll be not able to do this by yourself. So we will have to actually contact some Samsung services. Um, but the last last thing that I can recommend you, if none of above um, fixes work for you, then you can try to perform a factor, factor reset by going to the general management and then go into reset. So basically try to, you know, get back all of the default settings on your phone by selecting factory data reset. So yeah, uh, try this one and tell me if it works.